Hey everyone, it's Wingspan TT, and if you're watching, you may be surprised what time it is. It's time for Assassin's Creed 3. And I was thinking, you know, with Assassin's Creed 4, 4, it's 4, it's not on the floor. Well, I mean, after you have enough rum, you'll be on the floor. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag coming out so soon, in approximately three weeks. I thought I'd get back into Assassin's Creed 3, you know, shake off a little bit of the rust, shake off a little bit of the dust. I know it's been a long time since I played this game, but I want to get back into it and, um, I don't know, see if I can, uh, get back up to where I was, or at least be practiced enough that I can own, um, low-level people uh, when I get in here. Now, I see in this match we got an RDM. There's some guy who's, like, um, <laughs> prestige 60. Which only means he played through, he's played 30 times more than I have, and more specifically played 58 additional times through the ranking system than I have. Now I'm basically Prestige 3, but basically is not the same as completely, so. Yep, 30 times better. Not so bad. Now Black Flag, everyone's been talking a lot about, okay, the game lab, being able to make your own matches. I just want to play the game. I just want to play the game. You know, I've been talking to my brother about this. I've been talking to my friends about this. I am just, there's just something about Assassin's Creed multiplayer that's just so special. It's just that, that really tense being the hunter and the hunted, and I really hate joining a game when there's two minutes um, left on the clock. You know you can't win. So pretty much you're just, you're just going to try to like feel out the players a little bit, see who this Assassin Ninja 117 guy is, if he's a joker or a real-life murderer, and um, try to just feel him out, feel out who all these players are. Come around the corner really carefully. And, uh, you know, even the controls, I'm just going to be super rusty with the controls because I have n I've literally not touched this game for a long time. Here, I'm going to throw a decoy at this guy, see how he reacts to it. Is he going to take the bait? No, he's a smooth criminal. I'll just run up to him. Just kill him. And if I actually cared about score and thought I had any chance of winning whatsoever, maybe I should have done something like climbed up the roof to make sure I don't get contested. But I wasn't really thinking about that. I have had a lot of people emailing me, messaging me, private messaging me, leaving comments on my channel. My video, I did not mean to jump off that little couch thing. That little sandbag. Feels like bags of sand. Um, and everyone wants to see Assassin's Creed 3, and I understand. This is the game for a lot of players. This is like the first game that they saw me play. And if you've been, if you saw my 10,000 subscriber video, you know that a lot of people join my channel at different points, all right? So some people are loyal to Assassin's Creed, some people are loyal to like Team Fortress 2, some people are loyal to just gonna shoot that guy from my hip to his hip. Put my gun in your hip when it tips you dip we dip. Um, but yeah, here we go. I, got, I apparently had the blender perk in my wanted setup. I don't even know if that's a good idea anymore. I feel like Blender, it's it's okay, but the problem is that good players won't be fooled by it, and really good players will even be helped by it because they'll they'll notice the sound, or the they'll notice the animation of Blender. Now here I'm gonna get in this group, see if I can get Camo capped in here. And I use a little decoy there, see if I can just trick him. I do manage to get the silent. I probably could have got the focus. I don't think he had any clue I was in that group. And we see a camo captain up there in the middle of the scoreboard. Me with 850 points and 35 seconds left on the clock. I don't think I'm catching up to the guy with 5,800 points. Just trying to acclimate to the controls here. Just trying to get over it. I'm also getting over some kind of virus. For a while I thought I had carbon monoxide poisonous poisoning, but apparently I just had some kind of virus because that's significantly more likely than the fact that I'm the only person in my workplace or residence that got carbon monoxide poisoning out of nowhere. Um, so if you ever think you got carbon monoxide poisoning, but you have no reason to believe that you got it, and you call up your landlord and ask him about it, and he's like, you don't even have a gas line in your house because it's all electric, so you must be hallucinating, and then you're like, wait, hallucinations are a sign of carbon monoxide poisoning, maybe I do have it. What the, who the hell is he talking about? Hello? Hello? I don't know if they're... It's just some kids. Does he have two kidneys? What? <laughs> kidneys. But you need one, at least one kidney to survive. I know. Hold on. But if you had two... If you had one kidney left... It was still safe. We're getting a lesson in kidney biology from a 14 year old kid. You, you don't donate your spine. Ah! Uh, 
Maybe a chiromancer could help him with that. That has three votes, and that has five. That's how votes work, kid. It's a democracy. Both it's America. Yep. <laughs> I feel bad. I don't even want to talk over this. This is just amazing. Oh, are you going to go to that place? Certainly, everyone, it's a vote. Ew. But it, you get to vote where, what place you want to fight at? Yes! I think that's, I think that's Assassin Ninja. I think it's... Assassin Ninja is like some 14-year-old kid explaining to his 8-year-old brother how life works. So let's see, he explained to him how kidneys work. What is he talking about? He's... <laughs> He explained to him how kidneys work. He explained to him that spines don't get donated without the help of a chiromancer. And um, he explained to him how map voting works in Assassin's Creed 3. Very good. Oh, Assassin's Creed 4. It's going to be cool. It's going to be really cool. I was, I feel so blessed to play this game at E3. And, uh, and Loomer keeps making me jealous with his videos, even though like half of them are from like when we were there at E3. There he goes, the red coat. And it appears I'm at the Riot Girl Ranch, and this is Deathmatch. I, I wasn't paying attention, because those kids were so funny. But just because this guy's like a high-level guy, I'm just going to fucking handicap him with my knives. And now I hear whispers and realize that I'm in trouble, because that guy's probably my pursuer. And he was. If anyone's asked me how do I know he's a pursuer, because I know a lot of people are new. They don't understand, like, how do I know that anyone's a pursuer. And here, I'm just going to come over here. Get the incognito. Was it incognito and hidden? Yes. Taking, oh, not first place. 650 points. Man, that's kind of disappointing. And of course the guy with 60 prestige is already ahead of me, 750, and me just standing here like an idiot. I'm going to go look for Drag Altair. Drag Altair. So what is that? Like fucking an assassin in a dress? Huh? That guy. That guy's my killer right there. That guy's my killer. Let's see if I can get him with like a little corner sign. Oh my god, Assassin Ninja. Oh, yeah, all right. So I'm stunning the 14-year-old, the 8-year-old kid. All right, so Riot Girl Ranch knows that I'm the killer. Oh fuck! You gotta be kidding me! Oh my god! At least I take first place with the head stop. I just waited one millisecond too long. I'm pretty sure my killer there is a person on the other side of this building. I didn't even get to see who it was real quick. Come on! Come on! Come on! Nope. Ah, uh, no, that wasn't her. Oh my god! It was Riot Girl. No, it wasn't Riot Girl. Oh, it was none of them. It was CJM86. Who I assume, I assume was born in 1986. <laughs> it's like whenever I see that now. So all right, so the so 20, what 27 years old? Okay, fair enough. Smart person. CJM here, skilled enough to know what's up, and uh, was not afraid of smoke bomb, which I think uh, she had every right to be afraid of smoke bomb. But I really should have. Um, I just ran out of that. I just let her. I just let her get it. I let her have that one. All right, fine. She's got 60 prestige. I kind of like follow her around. She's got stuns. All right, so she's probably gonna kick my ass. Yeah, she's got like more than double my score already. Great, great. Can't say I'm surprised. Rusty, rusty, dusty. Still playing as the uh, the huntsman, the hunter, the hunt tracker, the head killer. I don't know what this guy's even called. See, I'm I'm like so out of it. Um, I still have a pretty good sense for who my pursuers are. And here we go. We got a flying Chinaman over here, all the way in the background. He thinks he can hide from me, the line of sight. Someone is coming after me. I think it is the guy with the top hat. Yes! Yes, you're getting stunned, boy. That's what you get for killing civilians. That's your punishment. There's one other person coming after me. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Oh my god, I don't know who it is. Is someone up there? Nope. I don't know who it is. Could be anyone. See, just as I was saying, I, I know who all my pursuers are. Okay. Fine, it's her. Hit her with the knives. I'm pretty sure she doesn't have smoke ready. Okay, and the stun. Oh, no, someone killed her. Hey, oh, they robbed me of my points. So once again, I robbed myself of points at the last millisecond there. And here is the... Um, I, I have no clue what this guy's called either. He's like fucking Nanook of the North. It appears we're just going to be playing the, the roof game. Uh, there's one of my... Okay, so my, my target is chasing my pursuer. That's a good thing. Let him go up here, and you know what? I'll just snap his neck. Only 100 points, though. Really couldn't have done much better than that. 
Could have tried for the poison. Didn't think it was going to happen. And now I'm actually wondering if poison's a good idea. Like, poison works right when you got Disguise or Smoke Bomb. We have some ways to guarantee, or at least make it more likely you can get poison. Is this guy one of my pursuers? I'm going to guarantee you the red coat on the roof is one of my pursuers. Guarantee it. Like, this Whispers volume is just right. Going to lock on, just in case she decides to jump down here. She thinks I'm dumb enough to go over here. This guy has no clue where I am. I'm going to punch him in the face. She's going to come down here punch her in the face. I hit it. I swear I hit it. God damn it. CJM86, major props, by the way. Get to prestige number 60. I mean, let's see. Let, if you could make one prestige every day, if you play that much. I don't even know if that's possible. If you made prestige every two days, I think two to three days might be more possible. So if you played every day, you know, Riot Girl Ranch is skilled enough. I'm going to just approach slowly, get the silent kill, 350 points. Racking up. Is it just me, or whenever I walk behind that guy with the axe, I'm always afraid that on the backswing with his axe, he's going to hit my character with the axe and decapitate me. So here, I'm going to climb up here, and I was trying to get an acrobatic on uh, the Quebecois gunner. Uh, at least I'll be able to get... I, was, eh, I didn't think I was going to be able to get focus. He started moving away. Looked a little looked a little iffy. If possibly if I got into acrobatic position, that would have been better. Um, yeah, see, that just axe always makes me different. And what, what the fuck is that wood made of? Is this guy, like, like just swinging axe a piece of petrified wood? Okay. All right, camo, Captain. You want to see some fucking camouflage? Here's my camouflage for you. And yes. Oh, no, come on. Oh, see, I'm getting greedy. I keep waiting like one extra millisecond, and that's always what costs me. It always what's cost me. That easily... Like, I could have been a thousand points up by now if I didn't hesitate all those couple milliseconds. And I just keep doubting myself. And I hear Assassin Ninja because he's my target. It's a freaking eight-year-old kid. Alright. Three against one. I can't wait to kill this guy. Okay. This guy is probably one of my pursuers. Um, or she's a pursuer. Wouldn't be surprised. Would not be surprised. All right. So we got that guy climbing up the ledge. We got this guy is just coming right at me. He was my pursuer. You could tell. I could tell it's him because just look how he moved at me. I'm gonna try hit this guy with the knives, but he by the time I use the knives, and my character step forward, like you don't have to step forward to use knives. Just like lean back into it, man. Throw it from the hip. Throw it from the hip. Come on. Use the reverse grip. You can get this. Right, girl, ranch. I'm still in second place. It's kind of sad. But I believe uh, me and CJM are like the only people here with any kind of like even prestige one. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised that um, even with a very mediocre skill this far into the match, this far behind. And now I'm going to lure that guy out. He's lured. Going to get a kill on. Oh my god, not again. And then I fucking, oh my god, I could have stunned my pursuer and gotten the grounded. Oh. Alright, this is what happens when you don't play the game for too long. This is what happens. I'm just getting rusty. Like, I would, I'd probably be in the lead. Like, no joke, I think I would be in the lead. This guy doesn't know anything. Does he know that I'm his pursuer? Just gonna fucking poison him. He doesn't know. He doesn't know anything. He's like eight. He's eight years old. I'm gonna poison him. I just poisoned an eight-year-old kid. You could call me Walter White. Alright, just put some Lily of the Valley in that shit. Huh? Huh? You want some more with your stevia? Ah, get over here. I did watch the Breaking Bad finale, and um, while some of my comments there could be considered mild spoilers, if you haven't watched the show, you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Um, but what I, what I will say is, the Breaking Bad finale, compared to the finales of so many series, was significantly better. Was it good? Oh, god damn it! I thought that that was a human being who was trying to kill me. Was it good? It was okay. Like, it wrapped up all the plots, all right? It didn't leave a lot of loose ends, except for a, a very few minor things. So, I guess my only problem with this, I felt that it was um, plot-wise it wraps everything up, but thematically and character-wise, not really. Like, think how many characters in the break... I just gotta get up here to get, like, a drop kill on her. Think how many characters in the Breaking Bad finale, like, their last scene was garbage. Like, Skylar's last scene was garbage. That guy's not human. Um... Walt Jr.'s last scene was garbage. Maria's last scene was garbage. Um, Jesse's last scene was basically garbage. He, like, had, like, what, four lines? And then with the screaming, like, that's it. That was his last scene. And I wonder if I can get an easy stun on this guy. I'm just trying to, like, get him to waste his time over here. And at the meantime, I'm going to run into my target. Might as well just get my target killed while I can. Um, and I'm going to get, like, air assassinated now. So there's that. And plus, I really just don't like an ending where basically, oh, god damn, that's a really good aerial kill. 
I don't like endings that like the whole ending that showed to me it was just like Walter White wins at everything. Like I, I feel like that was against the show. Like I know he paid some prices, but all I could think was like, you know, he was being mean to Hansel and Gretel, but but just think about it this way, like, if he had just taken that job from Hansel and Gretel back in Season 1, no one would have ever died, nothing bad would have ever happened, but because Walter's like, my pride is more important than the lives of other human beings, um, then, you know, everyone had to die, all this terrible stuff happened because Walt couldn't take a free job. Meanwhile, the unemployment rate in New Mexico must be like 12.8%. Um, probably Walt contributed to that. He probably alone with his freaking meth threw it up by like another percentage point. Um, anyway, I have some thematic problems with the ending, but overall, it was good in the fact that it wasn't the ending to, like, Dexter. Alright, this guy's busy. I'm gonna get the fucking incognito poison on him. And I just gotta really hope that his other pursuer doesn't kill him before that poison gets him. Because, uh, did I get him? Yes! Hidden! Incognito! Poison! 950 points. I can't wait till this match ends. I wanna hear what those kids have to say, because last time... We learned like so many things about. Oh fuck! Oh my god! I could have had him. No, no, I could have had my um. Oh my god! Oh, see, this is why I'm bad. This is why I'm bad, and I get killed. So I could have won this match if I didn't make like, I made at least eight mistakes in this match. I could have won, and that's it. All right, kids, let's hear it. Oh my god! Excuse me, it's my ball. The one over there and take it from her. Stop. They're getting yelled at by their dad. Words, not running over there and then trying to use the same phrase. Uh, uh, <laughs> Alright everyone, Wingspan TT from TouchYourTactics.com. I am the fourth best commentator on YouTube. Today you learned about how human kidneys work, how human spines work, how map voting works, how failing at Assassin's Creed 3 works, and how stealing a ball from your little sister works. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll come back next time. Till then, cheers.